so you call yourself a medium, but you actually have an area of specialization that many people might not be familiar with called Lost Souls. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Yes, thank you. Um, my mediumship developed um, through the uh, difficulties I had in my life in my own um, lost soul attachments that were affecting my personality and behaviors. And through just uh, discovering self-help techniques and um, becoming aware of some of the outside influences that affect our consciousness and our personalities and our focus, I was able to become aware of the lost soul attachments that were affecting my own life. So, so maybe you can tell me a little bit about what a lost soul is. Yes. In the process of dying, the normal process for our spirit body, once the body dies, our spirit body ascends from the body and is supposed to naturally move to the spirit realms. Uh, those of us that are frightened or disoriented or disconnected with our families uh, can't always see the uh, ancestors that have gone before us that come to our assistance at death to guide us to the higher realms. Okay. And so we become lost. We don't see the light or we're afraid of the light. Uh, there's many reasons why we don't move into the light at death. So we stay here. Is we that what you're saying? We stay hovering over the earth in the astral realms. So what does that mean in terms of attachment? Through the natural process of the law of attraction, they gravitate to people that have similar uh, addictions or attitudes or unhealed emotions. And they actually overlay that physical body of the human that resonates to them and feels comfortable with them and becomes a part of that human body. You're saying they actually are living inside living people. They cohabitate that body and the mind and the emotions, memories, dreams. They become two people within one body. So what does that look like in terms of me? If I, if I had an attachment, how might, that, how might that look in my life? Oh, it might look very confusing. I you can know, imagine. If, if it hadn't happened all of a sudden, uh, you know, it would be all of a sudden you have emotions that you don't understand where they're coming from. You have memories that, that feel familiar to part of you but, but very foreign to another part of you. Uh, memory lapses, um, multiple personality traits, uh, a lot of confusion and disorientation. So if I were... I'm thinking about how I seek your services. If I, if I was experiencing those things that you're talking about, then I, I might seek you out for help. So how do you actually help people? Okay. And, and I help the individual understand that they're going to have to make lifestyle changes and become more positive and, and get their vibrations higher to event uh, future attachments. And I actually command the lost soul to leave the client and I counsel the lost soul with the help of my angels and spirit guides to help them ascend to the spirit realms. So, I so that with. sounds hopeful. I mean, what you're saying is people who have these attachments aren't stuck with them, that they can actually, oh yes, they can go away. Absolutely. You can help them learn how Absolutely. to not have them and not be maybe vulnerable or susceptible to that in the future. Exactly. That's, that is the work I do. That is the the embodiment of the work I do. So how do how do I find you? If I'm if I'm somebody having these kinds of issues, how do I go about finding you? Um, my, my website is guidelights.org. Guide lights. Can you spell it? G u i d e l i g h t s dot o r g. As a medium, are there other services that you provide, or is this pretty much what you do? But mostly, my passion is helping people free themselves from other influences, whether they're lost souls or, or dark entities that might, might be attracted to them and influencing their behaviors and attitudes. Um, the lost souls will hover around us even if they don't attach to us, but they will definitely affect our train of thought and our emotions at times if we're not on a positive path. And so I educate people and, and train
train them through my book, uh, Guide Lights, Attuned to Your Angels and Spirit Guides, to get people to repattern and reprogram their, their minds to gear toward a more a positive lifestyle so that they don't have... They, they won't attract these issues at all in their lives. So it sounds really hopeful. You know, I'm, I'm aware that people that are really, really struggling and can't figure out why they're struggling so much, this sounds really hopeful and it sounds like very fascinating work.